Hello everyone, welcome back to another brand new video. Yeah, I caught it. I caught it, guys. Got it. Woo! So today we're going to be learning a new move that has to do again with the bite handle. So we're going to be learning with the bite handle today again. After I did another thing with the bite handle, which again, if you didn't see my last video, was the basic transfer which is still a really cool move. And it's something I think you could probably do from this move if you uh, land it correctly and do all sorts of stuff. And by land, I don't mean we're doing an aerial. We're not doing an aerial. We're not throwing it up in the air. But uh, yeah, today we're gonna be working with the Y2K rollover, which looks like this. Now this move is definitely one of my favorite moves to do because it's just overall awesome. And it's just one of those moves that's a really uh, one of those basic rollover moves that you would want to know like what I just did the index rollover like the index rollover to actually get to this position we're going to be talking about which is uh, holding the bite handle in a reverse pen grip to start but uh, again let's show you what it looks like so that's what it looks like and uh, let's show you how to do it now and I think I recall in my first ever ballast song video I said how, um, well, I went over it and I didn't really get into the specifics on how to do it and what you should do. So I'm actually going to go into depth of what you're going to do. I'm going to have a little beginner one and a slightly harder Y2K rollover. So there's going to be showing two variants, the beginner one, which is the horizontal and the sort of harder version, which is the uh, vertical version. So yeah, let's show you the easier one first, which is definitely the horizontal one. This is this one is most definitely easier to do since it's at like a angle where you can tell what's going on. Whereas this one is sort of harder to do and sort of harder to master. It's basically a reverse orbit, which uh, you'll learn on later and uh, probably most definitely will show it on the channel. But again, let's start off with the horizontal. Once again, you're gonna be holding a reverse pen grip, holding the bite handle. And then start practicing this. This is the basic motion we're gonna be using for the actual move right here, is sort of pushing out and then coming back in with your hand. You kinda of wanna use your elbow with this, not your wrist. I see a lot of people going like, which is terribly, not, which is not bad. I think I actually do that myself. Um, but yeah, it really depends on what you want to use. I personally like to use my wrist a little bit and a little bit of both. So I use my wrist and my elbow. So now that you got that down, you're gonna flick and it's gonna go around your finger like that. Most, most specifically finger your thumb. Then it's gonna do a little rotation and then you grab the safe handle. Now that you grab the safe handle, let's show you from the beginning again. So again, you do this little move, you flick. Once you got here, you're gonna let the momentum take it and spin until you grab the safe handle. And if you don't know how to grab the safe handle, it's just gonna be one of those things that you're gonna have to uh, get down in order to do this move. When I was learning this move, it was pretty difficult because I thought it was like several other spins because it looked like several other spins when doing it faster. like. It looks really cool and really fast. And when I looked like really fast, I was like, oh, they're probably doing like seven rotations with those. No, it's just almost like a half or one hole. So again, you start with the bite handle, the momentum takes it, and then you grab the safe handle. Now it's time to close the knife. So you grab the safe handle with whatever grip and then flip the blade over. But that's okay, we're holding the safe handle, so the blade's not gonna cut us. Now we remove our fingers and thumbs out of the way so we can flip up the handle. And that's the basic Y2K rollover horizontally. Uh, I mean, there's really nothing else to show you because that's basically it. But this move can be definitely implemented in different ways. like that, but let's just show you the, uh, the vertical one now. This one is definitely harder 
And if you're just looking to do a Y2K rollover, that's easy. Just start off with the horizontal one. Uh, it's definitely easier to do. So let's just let's just go into the horizontal one. I mean the vertical one, whatever it is. Again, you're gonna be starting off in a pen, reverse pen grip with the bite handle. Now, very similar to what motion we were doing, like this, you're gonna be doing that vertically now. Try doing that vertically because this is the movement that we're gonna be doing again. So think of this, but vert vertically. All right, now we're actually gonna spin. All right, so again from the beginning, you're doing this, and now you bring it over, and again, once again, the momentum's gonna take it, and you're only gonna do a half rotation. So you start with the bite handle, you flip up, the momentum is going to take it, and then once again, you grab the safe handle like this, you flip it down, and then back up. So think of it more or less as a horizontal Y2K rollover. It has the exact same movements as the Y2K rollover, but for, but, uh, but, but vertically, but for, God, I'm just, uh, all right. So once again, I, if you're just looking to do a simple Y2K rollover that's easy and won't take a long time to learn, I definitely suggest going for the horizontal one first instead of actually doing all sorts of this weird crap. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you slap that like button. If you want to see a certain move, I'll definitely try and learn that certain move in the future and then give you guys a little uh, tutorial on how to do it. So if you're looking for a specific move from me, uh, comment down below what that move is. I'll definitely be taking some requests. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time when I do another cool trick.